The wasps that use this water hole will make just as much effort to ensure the survival of their young. The same mud that the elephants cover themselves with as protection against biting pests is used also by some wasps to build their nests. This nest seems to defy gravity, and perhaps intruders too, with its fancy entrance tube. The wasp completes the whole structure in just a few hours. But there's a tiny fly that makes collecting mud a hazard. This fly has a vested interest in what the wasps are doing. A nest may take several days to complete, and there will be many trips back and forth to the water hole. And every time a wasp returns, the chances are that the fly will be watching. The fly has read the signs well and follows the wasp back to her nest. She settles on the nest's entrance funnel to assess the situation. She needs to know whether the nest is ready to receive her own offspring. The fly is a parasite, and if conditions are right, she'll lay her own young in the wasp's nest. But somehow, the fly can tell that this nest is not ready, and she leaves. The wasp unaware of her deadly visitor, returns to the water hole for more mud. When she's finished building, she stocks her nest with live caterpillars that she has paralyzed with a sting. She has already crammed about 20 caterpillars into each of five cells in her nest. And in every single cell, she has laid a single egg, suspended from the roof by a fine thread. In one of these cells, a wasp larva is wriggling out of its egg case. Soon it will tumble into the stock of fresh food that its parent has provided. And when it does, it begins immediately to feed. In just a few days of relentless eating, it has devoured every caterpillar in the cell. Soon, it becomes a near replica of the adult wasp, needing only wings before it leaves. At the nest of another kind of wasp, the parasitic fly is in luck. She has judged this nest well and is ready to make her move. As soon as the wasp leaves for the water hole, the fly darts in and quickly drops her larva on the wasp's doorstep. The larva instinctively moves towards the dark interior and soon disappears into the nest. When the wasp returns, she continues to build, unaware that she has been duped, that the fly's larva will devour her offspring and that much of her work will now be in vain.